if you're an xbox fan no doubt you are very excited you are very excited for this year because of all the number of rumors that have been going around it seems that microsoft it has you know a lot of reveals this year but not only this year you would be excited for the next generation because of all uh, the hype that is around the xbox community no doubt you are excited for what xbox has in store when it comes to hardware and software on the other hand we have the hating community you guys know who i'm talking about listen the sport was 60 but you know again yeah um it's just was it was it though was what was forza 60 yeah Shit. I'm not I sure. Know. I don't know. It is. It, it's 60. It wasn't solid. Speak from the heart, brother. What you got to say, man? What, 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 what are you saying? It's not, it's not it, 60? It, well, I, I reviewed that game. I got about 50 hours into it. And if that is a solid 60 frames per second, it may be. It may have been advertised hmm. as 60 frames per second, but that game did not hold at 60 frames per second like I would expect from Turn 10 Studios. It was a 60 target. That, that was a 60 target that was not holding 60 frames per second like i said i got about 40 50 hours into it thankful that i got a free review code at the beginning to check it out early but that game was a downturn from what turn 10 studios is known for making so i don't even think that could be classified as being a solid 60 frames per second well you opinion. know what you know what it was 60 frames per second on on pc just like hellblade will be because yeah. it's a goddamn shame that this console that eat monsters for breakfast can't get a goddamn 60 frames per second uh uh okay. console or next gen exclusive on and this is what the sickness of being in the pony nation does you see that sickness that has permeated the entire playstation community leads to hate yes this sickness would turn a bright and sunny day into a thunderstorm this a sickness would turn a nice sweet drink into bitterness yes the hate of the playstation community and the sickness in the playstation community would turn a locked 60 fps game into 30 fps <laughs> series consoles manage a basically impeccable output in frame rate terms i tried my hardest to push the game putting myself in the middle of huge grids on rainy overcast tracks and driving very poorly these are situations that reliably produce frame rate dips in other racing games, but don't seem to have any effect whatsoever here. Forza is just perfectly locked to its frame rate target, so the game is a steady 30 FPS in the visuals modes and 60 FPS in the performance modes. Outside this of game quite impressive stuff. Turn 10 has clearly calibrated the game around hitting high frame rates consistently on console hardware, and to achieve 60 FPS gameplay with two RTFX on Series X is a bit of an accomplishment. It's a perfectly smooth experience, and the game's high quality motion blur perfectly accentuates the flow of the action. Now, being the doctor that I am, Dr. J, I have to administer these PlayStation fans their daily medication. Hold on to this. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think one session would do the job. I think they need another one. Hold on to this. I recently got a slow motion um, dewormer for the PlayStation community. So you know what? I think I will give them this uh, medication one time. We're good. We're good. <laughs> remember guys i am here to help the playstation community i'm here to help the ponies one the woman at a time one medicated slap at a time yes so today we are going to talk about how microsoft is poised to be the leader both in software and in hardware we will see how recent events suggest that not only that, but we have some a lot more information concerning Sarah Bond today as well. So you know what, guys? Let's get it! This is a sickness! Let's get it! So before we start the video, guys, let me just say that we are on track to have the podcast this Sunday. I believe it will be Sunday the 14th. Yes, um, I believe I have everything for the podcast so we should have a smooth 
uh, podcast. Now, this podcast will be an interactive one where you will give your input on every topic. You would send me uh, a voice note on this uh, Twitter handle here. Send me a, a private voice note. Now, make sure that your voice note don't have any bad language in it. Um, be, you could be funny, you could do smack talk, but hold the bad language back. Bear in mind, if you, you do not listen to those instructions, you will be blocked and sent to the sunken place. <laughs> right? Um, in, under, in addition to that, we would also have a different segment um, on the podcast. We call it Versus. Now, this is where we put two video games together. It could be uh, in different platforms, in different genre, and we can, in the same genre, sorry, and there we you guys would give me your best arguments as to why this game is superior to the other now let me know if you have more um, ideas for the podcast um, but don't forget to like and subscribe onto this video and i'll see you guys then let's get back to the video if you was to ask any sony fan any pony what are their thoughts on the state of xbox today they most likely would say that xbox is dead xbox won't be coming out with any new hardware xbox uh, all their games run at 30 fps and also xbox is going full third party most playstation fans or the fanatics would say uh, those exact words but if we were to listen to the sony executives those who are, are leading sony they are singing a different tune according to the insomniac leaks behind closed doors the sony executives are saying that microsoft is poised to leapfrog over sony yes this is what they are saying but why would the executives say that knowing that they have the uh, market uh, they are the market leader today why would they say that knowing fully well that Microsoft was going to send games over to their platform? And yes, I agree with the Sony executives. Microsoft is poised to leapfrog over Sony, not only in hardware, but also in software. Let's first talk about software. Now, there are several reasons as to why we believe that. So Sony is known for their highly cinematic games. And a matter of fact, this is what uh, the Sony fans love about Sony. They love games that are highly cinematic. Now, I'll give you several reasons as to why Microsoft is poised to leapfrog over Sony, even with those type of games. Number one, Fable. Could you all remember when uh, Fable was revealed? Yes, it shocked the entire industry. After seeing the gameplay trailer of Fable, everyone thought those were that was a cinematic trailer. However, they did not know that this was in-game footage, helping us to see this is exactly the visual fidelity that the team there at Playground Games um, was going for. This game looked so real that it, it was able to fool a number of gamers, a number of reviewers, a number of people thought that this game was only running, um, you know, a, as a trailer. But this was in-game. So when it comes to um, the way a game looks, um, you know, how it plays, we are seeing even with Fable, Microsoft is leading when it comes to that. Now, there's another reason as to why Microsoft is poised to lead when it comes to how the game looks, how it plays and so forth. Think about Hellblade 2. Yes, Hellblade 2 is so impressive visually that persons don't believe this. They think it's just like an interactive movie. This is how impressive this game is. It's the first game that Microsoft has running on Unreal Engine 5. And let's just say uh, the devs did an incredible job to highlight, you know, uh, Hellblade 2, the graphical style. This game looks phenomenal. Now, this game looks so phenomenal that it has MBG raging. Listen to MBG as he stresses that Microsoft lead, leads in absolutely nothing. No one is copying Microsoft with nothing. Listen to MBG and let's laugh about it. Thank you. 
Thank you, Josh. See, I know I'm not crazy. I see that too. And I'm like, what are you people talking about, bro? Give it up. Give it up. Microsoft is not the leader in this industry. And isn't that cute? But it's wrong because Microsoft is the leader when it comes to revenue. Because of acquiring Activision Blizzard, they are now leading when it comes to revenue above Sony. <laughs> These people that want so desperately, they want so desperately to believe that Microsoft is a leader in the gaming industry. They are not. They bought publishers to become a revenue leader. I never met a man who could be wrong so many times. But didn't Sony buy Insomnia games with that same goal to become a revenue leader? Did you think that Sony didn't buy some Insomnia games so that they can get the highest revenue possible? Come on, MBG, think for a minute. Didn't Sony buy Bungie with the hopes that they would have gotten a lot of revenue from Bungie? Come on, why would the president say it's time for Bungie to show their worth and bring in more revenue? Why would the president say that if it is, uh, you know, they didn't buy Bungie for revenue to become a revenue leader? <laughs> you see how that works, MBG? <laughs> They're not leading jack shit. They're not leading jack shit. They're leading on how to be mediocre. That's what Microsoft is doing. That's all they've been doing. That's all they've been doing since the beginning of the Xbox One days. They're leading the way on how to be mediocre. Who the going to follow Microsoft? Why would you follow the, the, the person that's in third place? Why would you follow? That's a very good question, MBG, but I suggest that you ask Sony that question. Why is Sony following Microsoft? Because Microsoft was the first to put their first party games onto PC. Why is Sony now ramping up? Uh, they bought a studio to port their games over to PC, and the president is saying that he is looking um, to bring these games sooner to the PC. Why is Sony following Microsoft? According to you, Microsoft, no one wants to follow Microsoft. So why is Sony following Microsoft? <laughs> well, the person up their console reveal after the 360, couldn't make a comeback, couldn't make AAA games to compete for their life, can't compete with Nintendo, certainly not. Who would follow them? Why would the leaders follow that company? Are you repeating yourself, MBG? Are you repeating yourself? Well, let me repeat myself. Why is Insomnia Games following Hellblade 2? Yes, according to multiple news reports, according to the Insomniac leaks, they are inspired by Hellblade 2. Yes, the Wolverine devs, Insomnia Games, are inspired by Hellblade 2. Why are these so-called, your so-called devs, the PlayStation devs, the best devs in the world, why are they following uh, the devs there at Hellblade 2? Could you tell me? I thought you said that no one would follow Microsoft. Well, again, you were wrong. And for that, hold on to this. Mom. That's right. That's right. Call for your mama. So yes, Hellblade 2 is inspiring PlayStation developers. Who would have thought? But it is not stopping there. Xbox is really poised to become uh, the leader when it comes to graphical fidelity because listen to what Jess Corden have to say concerning this. About okay. whether it will be at the showcase or not. Mm -hmm. um, but I, you know, you don't you don't bear against Jeff Grove, right? Mm. So I would I would presume that he's on the money and that it is going to be there. I've heard about other games that are going to be there. Um, I've started getting like you know little teases here and there, but I've been score. teased like what like what you know basically the same as what Shinobi said. Mm. Someone some uh, someone teased me that it was just the visuals were next level mm. and that the coalition, the masters of the craft, and mm. You know, um, I mentioned on uh, <clears throat> I mentioned on my own show mm -hmm. recently that uh, Kate Raynor, who is leading the technical stack for for the Coalition, the Gears, the Cold Gears operation, she's been promoted out of the Coalition and now runs her own her own division, helping oh. other Xbox Studios get to the Coalition's level Ooh. with Unreal Engine. So like. Is like stuff like Hellblade, like what we can expect of the standard for visual wow. quality. So did you guys hear that? 
the devs there at the coalition is really setting the standard when it comes to uh you know the graphics for the xbox going forward and this is the woman who would be taking charge of helping other xbox games look as good as hellblade 2 and gears of war 6. so it's very clear going forward microsoft would be the leader when it comes to realistic games when it comes to setting the bar like hellblade and gears of war 6. no doubt inspiring another uh, a generation of playstation developers to copy exactly what xbox is doing let me hear what you think about how microsoft is going to become the leader in software we looked at three games uh, fable we looked at uh, hellblade 2 and we also looked at gears of war 6. all of those games will set the pace when it comes to realism in gaming not too long ago sarah bond said this when it comes to hardware for the xbox we have more creators right now building for xbox than ever before thousands. by nature yeah. thousands of them by nature of those investments and we got more to come there's some exciting stuff coming out in hardware that we're going to share this holiday and we're also invested in the next generation roadmap and what we're really focused on there is delivering the largest technical leap you will have ever seen in a hardware generation which makes it better for players and better for creators and the visions that they're building so when sarah bond said that the playstation community did not believe her and a matter of fact they said that um, Xbox is dead they are not going to make any more consoles that's that's a lie they went on to say that how she play she had a play on words when she said the most technological advancement she didn't say most powerful well a recent uh, interview that Sarah Bond had she doubled down and reiterated what she said in that video listen exclusive Xbox President Sarah Bond has set up a new team dedicated to game preservation and forward compatibility. The backward compatibility program will continue to future Xbox hardware. Sarah Bond was promoted to Xbox President a few short months ago and kickstarted something of a reorganization to streamline Microsoft's gaming org to position itself for the future. With Activision Blizzard now acquired, Xbox has become something of a gaming powerhouse, with huge platforms across Xbox console and cloud, PC gaming, mobile titles, and subscription services. Even when you disregard the millions of Xbox Game Pass subscribers, Microsoft counts various other subscription service gaming businesses within that fold, from Fallout First to Minecraft Realms and World of Warcraft. The complexity of the Xbox business is doubtless a huge challenge, but there are similarly huge opportunities ahead of the firm. To that end, Sarah Bond recently sent out an email to rally her troops, while also sharing some interesting bits of news in the process. Microsoft has confirmed to us that the correspondence is genuine. It's been nearly six months since we came together as an organization. Our collective achievements in that time frame are tremendous. Everyone should feel incredibly proud of what we've achieved and excited about the opportunities ahead, Sarah said, we are moving full speed ahead on our next generation hardware, focused on delivering the biggest technological leap ever in a generation. Sarah also touched upon Microsoft's innovations in gaming AI, understood to be a big part of Microsoft's vision for the future of Xbox. We were recently told that departing XM tech-led and AI innovator Kareem Chaudhry was known within the org for putting players and developers first. It seems that influence will continue driving Microsoft's thought processes on the tech, we are innovating in gaming AI, focused on delivering player first, developer first value for discovery, engagement, and creator velocity. Further in, Sarah describes how Microsoft is continuing its work to integrate Activision Blizzard games and Battle.net into Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass. Microsoft brought Diablo 4 to Xbox Game Pass a short while ago in collaboration with the Microsoft Store platform team on the Windows side. Bond revealed that due to Diablo hitting Game Pass, Xbox has now become the number one platform for the game. We are integrating Activision Blizzard King titles into our services, we launched Diablo IV into Game Pass, and Xbox has quickly become the number one platform for D4 players. Bond reiterated some of the other games on the horizon for Xbox, we are integrating with Battle.net, all while launching COD, Warzone Mobile and preparing for the upcoming Hellblade 2, Avowed, and Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. So not only is Microsoft looking towards uh, making the most technological advanced console, they are also studying about backwards compatibility, they are also studying about the preservation of older video games. 
and this is good this is good for gamers you know um we know that that has become a problem throughout the industry over some years where services um you know are taken down where servers are taken down and if that happens their then their game um goes with the servers and so forth but microsoft is not doing that they are investing money they are investing a team into the preservation of gaming but what was noteworthy about this interview is that she doubled down when it came to saying that the next xbox will be the most technologically advanced uh, xbox ever and i believe that will be driven by ai ai would be a, a big part in the next generation of consoles whether it be the next xbox and the next playstation uh, console however we know that microsoft company uh you know is very deep into ai so their ai will be way ahead of sony's own however we will see how things play out but here we have microsoft being leading in software when it comes to the graphical fidelity of certain games as we would have seen and also they are looking to lead in hardware so microsoft uh, for the future is looking great it's looking good so let me know what you think about everything that was said here today let me know what are you or what are you excited for in the future don't forget guys to like and subscribe for more videos i'll see you guys in the next one uh, later